What up guys, Eric here for Bracing Ram Fam. Um, I'm finally getting to work on my engine. So in my last video you guys saw that I kind of figured out my ticking noise and it turned out that was my ticking noise, was the piston is actually hitting the cylinder head. As you can see, let's get this bag off here. As you can see, this outlining on the piston, that the piston is actually contacting the cylinder head. So what's happening is the rods are too long, actually 30 thousandths too long, so the crush thickness of the head gasket is 52 thousandths and then the piston protrusion, so how far that piston comes out of the block, is 30 thousandths, so I had a 22 thousandths gap between the piston and the cylinder head, which is way too tight. So that's why you wouldn't hear it when I was like revving it up, you can't hear it, but when it came off that D-cell you could hear it because it was unloaded smacking the cylinder head like knock 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 knock. So now we're going to get this engine on the engine stand, pop the pistons, the rods out and make sure it didn't sandwich that piston and pinch that top ring and if it didn't pinch that top ring we should be all good put some thicker head gaskets in it and put it back together and get it in that truck so let's get to it Now that we got the oil pan off, you can really see all the connecting rods, crank, everything, all the pistons, how long this thing is. I had a V8 on here, and it actually drained all on the pan, and because it's a V10, it drained all on the floor. So now we're going to crack loose all these connecting rod bolts and start punching pistons out. So we got all the rods and pistons out. Uh, it didn't smush any of the tops of the pistons. Or any, yeah. It didn't pinch any of the rings. So that's a good sign. And then, you can read that right there. Oh, you guys know that answer already. These are too long of rods for this motor. And that was my, that was my noise the whole time was the piston slapping the heads because they are 30 thousandths too long. Actually 31 thousandths too long. So, yeah, now I'm going to talk to my machinist. Uh, a couple of the bearings look like crap. I don't know what went through there. Uh, there's one of them uh, one of them that has a huge groove. Yeah, this one. I don't know if you can see that. See that copper ring? It's because it went through the babbit on it. So I don't know what through, went through this. So pretty much now, I'm going to take the crankshaft out of it. Pull a camshaft out of it. Pull the oil pump apart. And just take a look at everything pretty much hopefully everything's good uh, I'm gonna order ARP main studs for this ARP head studs for this uh, probably new rod bearings new main bearings I don't know yet probably though uh, I got the new cam I already have a new timing set in it um, so pretty much this is gonna be a brand new engine um, but that's it for tonight thank you everyone for who helped me figure out the noise um, I was kind of at a stump I kind of figured out that was hitting the head, but I didn't know why it was hitting the head. Thank you, and as always, keep it boosting. One other thing, guys, I got stickers. So yeah, so give me a follow on Instagram, and then shoot me a DM and Instagram with your address or whatever, and I'll I'll send you a sticker. That'd be dope. 
yeah. Uh, I'll have the link down in my description for my Instagram. Uh, let me know. 